Hello everyone and welcome back to Coach Craig Sports. Today is Friday, June 24th, and this is the MLB DFS video for today. So in today's video, we'll be doing a quick little recap of yesterday's picks, seeing how they turned out. No, I had to rush through yesterday's video just a little bit since it was an early lock time, but hopefully you guys got the chance to see that before lock. And then I'll also be talking about my core picks for today, as well as my top GPP stacks from my article over at webetats.com. But without further ado, we'll get started with the recap of yesterday's picks. At the pitcher position, we had Robbie Ray, and so did about everybody else yesterday. He had about 50-51% in terms of ownership yesterday. He was $10,000. Got to 37 points, so he was ahead. He was the third overall pitcher on the slate, so you can't really say too much there. Kind of just kept even with the pack on that one. Then we had CJ Crone at first base. $4,000. Got to 6.2 points. Did give him a push yesterday. Uh, obviously expected a little bit better out of him, but still not a bad day regardless. Then we had Carlos Correa at $3,300, got to nine points, so I did give him a hit. And then for the outfield, we had Christian Yelich, $3,100, got to 15.2 points, so he was a pretty decent hit. And then last but not least, we had Cody Bellinger at $2,500, he got to 44.1 points, he was a hit. The top overall fielder on the slate and the second overall hitter yesterday, the only one that was higher than him was Dan Zee Swanson, who ends up hitting two home runs yesterday. So Cody Bellinger, very good play yesterday. If you went with this score five, you had a decent chance of cashing yesterday. As long as you had a couple other decent picks in there, had a couple other picks that didn't really turn out too well, but I still ended up cashing, so I think there was a pretty good chance that you guys did as well. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to the core picks for today. So I'm going to start off by saying this is a 14-game slate, so there's a lot of different ways that you can approach this slate overall. This is just kind of the way that I've chosen to do it. At the pitcher position, I got Mackenzie Gore, $8,000, averaging just under 29 fantasy points per game on the season. The last two starts have not been very good. Goes against the Philadelphia Phillies today. He has limited but yet good history against them. I do like the upside he does present, and I think at that $8,000 price tag in the paydown spot, definitely someone I'll have a lot of interest in today. Then at first base, going right back to C.J. Crow today, just over 12 fantasy points per game on the season. Goes against the Minnesota Twins and Dylan Bundy. He is 6 for 17 with three home runs versus him and his crew. So definitely offers a lot of upside today. Then at third base, we have Nolan Arenado, $3,600, averaging over 11 fantasy points per game on the season, starting to heat up once again. Goes against Kyle Hendricks and the Cubs today. He is 10 for 36 with three home runs versus Kyle Hendricks in his career, so definitely offers a lot of upside there as well. Then we're going to move down to shortstop Bo Bichette. $3,100 seems a little bit too cheap for him. Goes against the Milwaukee Brewers and Adrian Hauser today. Should be some pretty good upside there. He's averaging about 10.5 fantasy points per game on the season. And then with that being said, he does have no history versus Adrian Hauser. Typically favors the pitcher, but I'm not really afraid of Adrian Hauser. So definitely interested in some Blue Jays hitters, especially Bo Bichette today. Then last but not least in the outfield, we have Josh Naylor, $3,200. Technically, you could play him at first base too if you really wanted to, but we already got CJ Crone there. He has at least one hit in seven out of that past eight games. He has no history versus Nick Pavetta. Nick Pavetta is a guy that's been pitching well. I wouldn't be surprised if he draws some ownership, but I think there's some ways that you can get on some of these Cleveland hitters and kind of attack that and just be a little bit different today overall. And I think Josh Naylor is definitely one of those pieces. It's always kind of interesting to see what happens, especially on a 14-game slate in terms of ownership. Definitely can make a couple stands if you really want to. But with that being said, if you go with these five players that do have list here, you have $13,000 exactly remain. Just over $3,200 per player. So if you wanted to pay up for a player or two, you could probably do that with a couple other value plays. Or if you just want to take a little bit more balanced approach, that's definitely something you can do as well. But with that being said, we'll get moved over to my article over at webetats.com and talk about my top GPP stacks for today. So the ones that I do have for today are going to be the Boston Red Sox going against Cal Quantrell of the Cleveland Guardians. Like, Quentrell's not a bad pitcher, but I do favor the Red Sox in this matchup, so definitely have some interest there. Uh, then we have the Blue Jays going against Adrian Hauser. Most of these guys have never faced him before, but at the same time, this is the Blue Jays lineup that does have a ton of upside. Adrian Hauser is not going to be a guy that strikes out a ton of people, kind of pitches the contact, so there should be some opportunities for these Blue Jays headers today. Then we have the St. Louis Cardinals going against Kyle Hendricks. They have quite a long history versus him, and most of that history is good, so definitely interested in the Cardinals today. Also doesn't hurt that Kyle Hendricks has not pitched well at all this season. And then last but not least, we have the Chicago White Sox. They're actually going against Austin Vuth today. Last night when I was looking at it, it looked like they were going to go against Kyle Bradish, but either way, they don't have history versus either one of these pitchers, and those pitchers are not pitching very well. If it's Austin Booth, he might not pitch deep into the game, so it might turn into a little bit of a bullpen game as well. And then last one I'm going to mention that's not on the sheet is the Texas Rangers going against Paulo Espinino of the Washington Nationals. 
We'll see how DP pitches in the game might end up being a bullpen game as well, but there's also some upside there as well. But with that being said, these are my core five picks as well as top GPP stacks for today, June 24th. As always, if you have any questions related to MLB DFS, be sure to leave them down in the comments below and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Also, be sure to let me know your favorite play for tonight's slate, whether it's one of my core five picks, whether it's someone from my top GPP stacks, or whether it's a completely different player you guys think I missed. Definitely a lot of different options out there. Definitely interested in hearing what you guys have to say as well. But with that being said, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Definitely would appreciate it. Helps to build the community that we're trying to build here at Coach Craig Sports, which is one that's truly for you, the viewers, helping you with your DFS, whether it's MLB or USFL is still kind of out there. I may put out a post, probably not at this point in time, just for the games tomorrow. But if you guys have any questions related to that, feel free to reach out. And then once we get back around to the NFL and NBA regular seasons, we'll be doing some DFS content for those two sports as well. And then with that being said, if you are newer current subscribers yet to do so, also be sure to hit that notification bell down below. It's going to let you know every single time I post up a new video. Like I've been saying, I post up daily MLB DFS videos just like this. But with that being said, that's all I have for today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed. And then last but not least, special little shout out to each and every one of you watching today's video. I truly do appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Definitely means a lot to me and I hope each and every one of you has a great rest of your day.